You will hear him because the miracle that is happening now has already touched his life. And so he has been using this worksheet, but you will hear him. He will speak by himself. I cannot speak. Talk out. I will speak by. Go ahead. Last year, operation. So, it's your other open. So, tomorrow, I think I'm So, Mokoma was Hallelujah! Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. Hands for the operation two years ago, and after the operation, he found out that he couldn't walk, despite all attempts to solve that problem. But when he came to this program with that challenge and with the walking stick in his hands, as the man of God prayed, he felt the power of God touch. Pains disappeared and he could walk perfectly. Put your hands together for Jesus. Put your Jesus. The next testify. Praise the Lord. I worship at under Anua group. I'm here to thank the Almighty for God for what He did in my life during the Enugu State Global Crusade, the Divine Touch. It happened in this manner. After I put to bed, I developed serious health challenge. I had a raised BP heavy-headedness and a palpitation of the heart. I've gone to different hospitals. I went to government hospitals and hospitals, and they couldn't diagnose anything. The only thing they could diagnose was the raised BP. And then I went to my state overseer. He prayed for me miraculously. But the palpitation of the heart and the state and I observe when this challenge comes, I'll be rolling on the floor, gasping for life. And during the Enugu State Crusade, I came for it. I believe God for it. The face, the miracle didn't happen on the last day. Night, I had a severe plane crash, and I jumped up from the bed and grabbed my little baby that was lying beside me. Since that day. Everything ceased. The whole problem. I used to walk around with coconut water. Ever since then, the whole problem ceased. No more coconut water. Divine solution. And while you are here, the power of the cross has solved your problem in Jesus' name. Amen. Those of you online, watching you right there, the solution is right where you are. Let's listen to the next testimony.
Let's listen. Praise the Lord. Oba ma yele Jesus. Ito ro yele aba sinyel. Mbo ntan ko ntie nse mba se aba se nam. Because nge mo mo yele bi ubok di mi. Mo mo ye sang asta song song. Tong of every list ye. Aye ga ga ro 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 ga ngwa fong we. I ga ngwa nde ga se re ku fong. Be igiri wo mi aba se. A di visit ye ye ke mi Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. What's the name? She's Etido Sarah Williams. Etido Sarah Williams from which? You can't ever see. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Ten months ago, she fell down and could not walk since then. Of both the left leg and the left hand. Now, as a man of God prayed, she was. Can you do like this? Do it. Even though the mother did not take her to the hospital for blood pressure to be taken because at this age, blood pressure, a child at this age can have blood pressure. But she sent her to the hospital. But when I was with her, when I know was with her, the man of God has prayed, and she's not able to walk. Push your hand for Jesus. Put your Jesus. The next testifier. Praise the Lord. The Lord has done marvelous things in my life today. My name is Abraham Antonio Wu. I'm from uh, Dipala Bible Church, the Tinan region. South. I want to testify to the glory of God, what God has done for me tonight. For more than six years now, I've been having this sore, severe sore throat. It started when I was in secondary school, and I could not swallow. I could not take things easily. If I stay for hours without drinking water, if I take food that after that hours, it will be like stone passing through my throat. I told my mom, and my mom told me, take kerosene and salt. And I was like, ah, kerosene inside my system. I've been, I've just been like that. But when I came to the program tonight, I told God, I'm not going to talk about how many, how many, how, how long I've been carrying it. But at the moment of God prayed, and I touched that place, I just said, God, I want you to go. After the prayer of the man of God, they said their last amen. It was like something came out. I swear, I, I, I vomited something. And I had I vomited two times. And when I tried swallowing, the thing disappeared. It was clear. It was plain. Amen. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together for Christ. And your own is there with you. Put your hands together for Jesus. Our hands together for Christ. It is happening. Let's check for this. God is great. Amen. The next is the fire. I'm not asking about who the me me or song. Who can me me? I fun. Oh, a symbol. Yeah. 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 Since you are the medical doctor, you will get the facts to also that. Yeah. Yeah. 
The sister cannot communicate very effectively. She says she had swollen legs and pains at the joints and the knees. But as a man of God prayed, all of them withered away and she can now be able to walk. Put your hand for Jesus. Put your hand together for Jesus. The sister had swollen. Her knees were swollen. The prayer of the man of God, the swollen knees shrinked immediately. This night, and she walked. Okay. Amen. Praise the Lord. My name is Son de Bassi. By grace of God, I'm worshiping at uh, <clears throat> at Barras District and Barras Group. Region, Akwaibom State, Nigeria. Praise the Lord. For the past, I was a walking corpse. I was ravaging by diabetes for seven years. I did all what I could to ensure that this sickness would go and it refused. Not until the last crusade that was held in Portugal, showers of blessing. I told God, I will not miss any particular day out of that five days. That work should not disturb me. Because since last year, when I had the uh, <clears throat> the trip the thing taking a lot of money, I say, I'm not going to spend one naira again. So the urination and everything, I used to piss every day, now and then. I drink, a, I drink drops of water every day. And I taste of food. When you eat, definitely this thing will not be as if you are eating. And the greatest aspect of it is the weakness of the body. What has happened now? Today, as I speak today, after the showers of blessing, October, on the 4th of November, all the, uh, all the symptoms disappear in Jesus' name. I am free forever. I am free in Jesus' name. Put, Put your, your hands, hands together, together for Christ. For Jesus. God is great. The same God that did it for him will do for you. Amen. On its social media now. Let's listen to the social media. As we bring you testimonies from the social media. Okay, while we're waiting for social media, go ahead. The first testimony on the social media. Yes. God bless the Lord! My name is Brother Joseph Amos, and with me is my lovely wife, Margaret Joseph Amos. And also, is and wonders for the needy baby, Master Obuamabasi Joseph Amos. Put your hands together for the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm from Ekit region, and 
many in the region as well as in the states, their way they had married for 13 years without any without an issue. That if you've ever had a challenge, and at a point, medical doctors, not only in Nigeria, and even in other places, tell you that this is impossible. Brethren, we almost the top hospitals in Nigeria. We've gone to the US, to India, with no results. But however, I remember some program back our general superintendent that we will carry our baby. God bless you, daddy. And then on one of the Wednesdays during the uh, fasting and prayer program, our ASO also prayed for us. You know, actually, these are catalogs of testimony. It has point one, point two, point three. So please permit me. And so our pastor prayed, uh, and so after that, last year, my wife took it. And then, as if that was not enough, three months, when the pregnancy was three months, the devil attempted uh, with miscarriage. But when the prayer of faith of God, miscarriage was given a technical knockout. And then, as if that was not enough, when the pregnancy was eight months old. The medical consultant, consultant met, and they say what they are seeing, so many things, the heart is abnormal, kidney this and that, baby must be brought out. So a team, they brought out the baby. That was immediately after the signs and wonders for the program. The baby was brought out. And they were tying things in the private part to be measuring whether baby is urinating properly, and then they will be checking all that. But we were smiling Somewhere because around. baby was connected. And so after needy, after that, divine touch came and touched the baby. And then after that, there was a, 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 a showers of blessing. To cut the long story short, two weeks ago, the final on the baby's heart and everything is not I want to, to tell you put your hand. anything bad normal in your life put Jesus your hand name. together for Jesus we'll take one more we'll take one more and we'll call it Amen. After this, we'll close for the day. Beautiful. The Lord, this young man came here dumb. The father is here. He said he's talking now. And then I decided to carry out the testing. How many are these? How many are these? He said four. How many are these? Five. Where is the father? Please, can you come? Let's hear from the father. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. I'm so happy for God to permit me to stand in the system protocol like this. This young, my brother, that stand beside me. Abake cross the fasted for years. But normal, he born normal, he speak normal, and do everything. But coming back, I could very, hear very well, he cannot speak. But I wonder why I see him here. Nobody sees him. But it might taste too many now. Seeing this guy, I, I think I have seen him here. The God, the miracle from the general superintendent, have touched him. The, boy, the young boy now speak. For over five years, 
now. Yeah, it can never speak. It can never pronounce even one. It can never, it can never even pronounce even second. But today, the miracle from that the supernatural God has touched him and healed him. May I say may his name, may his name be glorified in Jesus' name. Can I? Praise God. Let's only listen to Mama then before we call it off. Testimonies. We have great testimonies happening from Samuel Easter. This is the sale of wonder. We have a wonderful salvation coming to Samuel Estefanos. He says, I got my salvation and now I am healed and I am saved and free. In Amen. Also from YouTube comes this one. He says, I want to testify to the glory of God for healing the pain in my right shoulder. He says, the name of God be forever praised. Timothy Benro is his name. And now I have this coming all the way from Benro Estate, Makodi, uh, Josh, Joseph Dondo. I said to the, to the crusade, and this person has been suffering from enlarged hearts. But because Jesus is still here, they perforated uh, that uh, they, they, they perforated you. And now he is healthy and sound. Praise the Lord. Rita Billy had kidney failure at the prayer of the man of God. Kidney came back alive. And Rita says she has her kidneys restored. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And now we see your state in Nigeria, southwest precisely, where we have Sister Bola Oladendi, whose two year old son works in spread. Medical so, but because the God of wonder is still alive, it got touched and he can walk. Praise the Lord. And this one is from Grace Eshets, who had very chronic cough. Prayers of the man of God, that cough disappeared. We now take you finally to Benin City, where we have this one coming. Benin City live in Praise the Lord. My name is Okoche Anthony. I worship at Odia Park District, GROA, Benin City, Edo State. I was here yes, during the Divine Financial Crusade as a, as a, as a, on June. I can't believe it that God will hear me. And when the man of God said we should place our hand on where we have issues, I play on my hand because Ashburn has to do with the lungs. So after the prayer, I got my healing. And those things that I couldn't do before, I so before now, before then, I cannot stay in a dusty environment or stay where they fry the palm oil. But since then, I cook, I fry. Have any crisis with them? Praise the Lord. The sister standing before us is Rosemary Bonesian from Anoa. She has had arthritis for several years and she used to carry this walking stick. The arthritis of the knee, the inflammation of the knees, pain, she could not walk. So she has been my patient for many years. As she came tonight, after of God, she is able to walk now. Can you walk? Praise the Lord. Put your hands Put your hand together for Jesus. God has done great things tonight. We are going to end up here. Let's stand up and pray.